talk after, after Pavel Leskovich. So Pavel and I go back a very, very long way, as I do with the other two guests who are here today, because um, Pavel's visit has been occasioned by the invitation to Tate of Tomek Kitlinski. And when Tomek Kitlinski uh, um, was really the Sybarite king of the evening in the pre-Raphaelite room on Saturday of Tate Britain's event called What Should a Queer Museum Look Like? It seemed to be rather extraordinary that while Pavel was here and has been doing things with Tomek uh, as a performative couple, as a curatorial couple, as a thinking couple, as a traveling couple for so many years, the fact that he first queered a museum to uh, immense controversy and with immense political effect and repercussions wasn't even mentioned at Tate. So really, this is a, a dual occasion to honor them. And also, I must say that Tomek was invited to Tate, not just because of what should a queer museum look like, of course, but because Tomek, who curated the great um, art festival for democracy in Lublin last summer, at which my friend Adriancini's Democracy Pavilion was one of the exhibits, has been cruelly hounded by the Polish government at the highest level, at the highest judicial level, and is facing threat of imprisonment. He also pointed out in his talk, well, in his three talks in Brighton, at Tate Britain, and I am sure in Leeds, um, that Lublin actually declared governmental LGBT free zones, which is a pretty unbelievable idea. So this isn't Tomek in the spotlight today, but Pavel, who did, in fact, queer the first museum, the National Museum in Warsaw. And if you read the um, delightful poster with Pavel posing in front of that unbelievable Keith Van Dong, and you know what delights are to come. But of course, this is also a very, very serious issue. I'd also just like to mention that in the audience, we have a former Courtauld student, Gray Watson, who was the first person to start Performance Magazine and was very involved in um, the first round of queer and gay and performative issues in the 1970s. So I think that's important for you. Some of you may like to meet and talk to Gray as well as Tomek um, and Pavel after the talk. So Pavel, I think you could perhaps give a little bit of an introduction.